Hi everyone, it's Elizabeth here. <clears throat> I wanted to do this video in regards to how to trust in your life path or how to trust into God when things are falling apart. So obviously it's no secret that things have been falling apart for people during this time of coronavirus. And because a lot of this is out of our control, we are being led to learn how to control what is within our circle of influences. So, um, you know, responding to our own words and thoughts or, uh, you know, learning how to rebudget a lot of things. There's a lot of lessons happening right now, but there's also a lot of, I think, man-made destruction that's happening that is wrecking and ruining people's lives. And the amount of anxiety and depression that is going on with people, even people who are working, um, some of the clients that I work with out here, you know, they, they work for some of the big corporations in Seattle, but they are going through a really tough time. Some of it is because they are sheltered. Some of it is because, you know, the stress levels at work are so high. I had one client tell me, she's like, I can't handle any more negative information because, or just negative things happening to people that she knows and cares for. Um, because during this time, she's known a lot of people who've lost their work or been affected by this. <clears throat> and then a, a colleague of hers has been diagnosed with basically, you know, stage four cancer. He's terminally ill and they don't know how long he has left. And so there's so much doom and gloom that is happening right now. Um, and life is not easy, but it is important for us to learn how to have trust and faith in our life in especially being a millennial or I, you know, baby boomers, they also served in other wars, but being a millennial, our generation has never experienced anything really tragic in America. I'm talking about millennials in America. Um, it's a little bit different if you were born in the seventies, like I have German friends who did come to America, but you know, they were on the other side of the Berlin Wall in East Berlin dreaming of coming to America and watching this wall fall down in 1989 to realize, oh my God, my, my dream is, is to go to America. And it kind of ended up coming true um, for that person. So during this time of loneliness, isolation, depression, we live in such a money-focused society. It's why I talked about this in the last video about spiritual abundance. And you do have to be very smart with your money, especially right now if you're living paycheck to paycheck. So there is a lot of logic that's involved in this. But there's a lot of growing pains that are happening as well. And when you are in these times of hardship, you have to trust that things are happening for you and not necessarily to you. Now, that advice can obviously be wrong if we were led into some other, you know, NWO or if it was led into a civil war where basically everything is, you know, basically destroyed at that point. Um, <clears throat> I thought about this this morning because I've seen that more small businesses have closed in Seattle and it's just breaking my heart because as an independent business contractor artist whatever you want to talk about it's going to be really difficult to survive especially on the price point because you know an independent grocery store can't compete with the same prices that Whole Foods and other people like Costco that are buying things in mass quantities and selling things for a lot cheaper so if you're in this situation, you have to understand that no matter what is happening to you, you have to find some form of peace or solace that is going within your mind and your body. So some of this requires some patience. This doesn't mean that you should just sit here and not look for other jobs. Like You may temporarily have to work at a grocery store or something like that in order to use that as a stepping stone to get back on your feet to something else. Um, patience is going to be really important during this time and being patient within yourself and just really analyzing the thoughts and words and kind of your reaction and behavior because of this dramatic society that we live in with reality TV and, um, <clears throat> oh, what else? 
you know, all the drama that you see online, it's, it's all of this is a flare up of the ego. It's feeding and fueling the ego. So the, the point right now of trusting your path is removing yourself from the ego and surrendering to yourself, to God. If you don't believe in God, the higher divine, whatever you think of that may be. And just being patient with source, but also within yourself. And trying to flip some of the thoughts and the words that are going on in your head. If you act like a victim, victimhood mentality will continue to keep you in a very negative cycle. Why is this happening to me? This always happens to me. It's good to analyze these things, but it's also good to switch your behavior. Instead of, you, you know, like the universe does respond to your words and thoughts. Um, if you're constantly thinking that only bad things happen to me, you probably will continually attract bad things. This isn't to say you should always live in this, you know, rosy eyed glasses, little positive thought bubble, but it is very necessary to learn how to retrain your thoughts, your actions, and your behavior because a lot of times we how am I trying to say this basically what I'm trying to say is that it is important if you need to fall apart it's important to process that emotion and just let yourself fall apart let yourself cry let yourself grieve the emotions a lot of what we're experiencing is some form of death it's the death of our job our job a lot of times in America has been our identity. We've been taught to go out and live through your passion because it's not work. So living through your passion has given you a lot of identity. And now a lot of people's identity has been taken away. It is a form of death or grievance. So allow yourself to do that. But just understand that there might be something behind the screens that could be working out for you. Some of you might have to go through a time period of like a trial and tribulation. I A lot of Christian biblical people use that word, but We've been pampered and we've been, you know, living on a sugar high for so long that it's kind of time for us to detox. Maybe some of the underlining issues of what's happening because we are such a global connected society is that maybe we are reverting back to being a more local sustainable type of community, which is what a lot of communities were back in the days or the medieval days. You lived in the village, you had the cabbage farmer, you had the chicken farmer, you know, you had all these things. So maybe this will force us to actually live more locally, which is more sustainable. So having patience and reframing your mindset is really important, but also perseverance. This time has, you know, some people have adopted art. Some people are thinking about opening up Etsy accounts. Some people are you know, rethinking about, wow, independent contracting has been really hard. Maybe I need to find a more stable job that provides health benefits and things like that. This has been a time of reflection and allowing yourself to reflect, but also persevere. You know, making money online is really difficult. Making money online through a blog is really difficult. It can take years. Some people can open up an Airbnb, have a sweet spot in like a downtown Seattle, and they've made bank, but no one's, not many people are traveling right now, so everyone right now is taking a hit, but where I'm going with this is not just to say like, oh, I'm going to make money off of my passion projects, but, you know, hopefully life will work out for you in the better run. Maybe you've been working in a certain industry for 30 years and you've been tired for this and you know maybe this is opening a gateway for you in a new area none of us really know our our own path that is something that's out of our control but what we can control are our own reactions we can control our own thoughts and we can control what we do instead of lying around like a victim maybe we can try to pursue something different this is definitely a huge time where people are realizing, wow, I actually enjoy working from home and spending a little bit more time with my family. So maybe businesses will start to open up and be a little more flexible on, hey, maybe you can work from home one or two days a week once things start to open up. Um, <clears throat> I, I don't know. It's really difficult because I don't think of 
God or the divine as tough love, but I do think of life as a battle between light and dark. And depending on where your perspectives are, your life experience, and, you know, people who are naive and not naive, um, they kind of see things from different perspectives. So with what's going on right now, I know through the last few years, I've definitely listened to a lot of astrologers that were talking about, oh, the shifts of 2020 were opening up to new things. And Taurus, sorry, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Taurus is moving into a new sign. And um, you know what? A lot of their predictions have kind of been wrong. They saw humanity moving forward in a very positive way where things are going to be so great and wonderful. And maybe it will. Maybe we have to go through a lot of like, you know, like the lotus flower blossoms from the mud. Maybe we're going through a muddy time right now in order to set ourselves up for a better future. But kind of their analytics has been kind of wrong because this has been a pretty miserable time. And it's a horrible, miserable time. Like today I just saw another movie, a local movie theater closed. And so the, if the only thing that can survive are the corporate chains, it's going to be a very depressing society because people love the independent businesses. If this is a pandemic and things like that, then, you know, we have a whole new set of our future and society that will be very, very negative. Um, and it's not going to benefit the people, but living in an age of Aquarius where Aquarius rules the people and kind of the individual, it's the most individual sign of the Zodiac. I say this because I'm an Aquarius. I, I understand the energy because all of this energy has once been locked into my brain. Um, and we are definitely going to see where this goes in a positive direction or a not a positive direction. This time can be a time to set us up for something better or this can just be the start to a very grim future. None of us really knows but trusting that divine source to help us through this time. And spiritual people have always talked that life is like a movie. You sign up for a role, there's a beginning and an end. And so when you understand that and you surrender to the things that are out of your control, that is where you give it up and that you trust in your path. And you trust that negative things can happen in your life or in your path. And that's where the perseverance comes into play. Because it will push you through. Perseverance, it's not just about having nonstop go, go, go energy. But it is about pushing through the hard times. And when you get through the hard times, you grow from it. And you mature from it. And that's some of the symptoms of where we're trying to go right now. Because we have been raised as adult children. We are very reactive. We fuel the ego through Facebook comments. Maybe this is a time for you to just surrender to everything else, let go of other people's opinions and what you think, and live your life. That's a whole thing in the Bible it talks about minding your own business. So anyways, patience, perseverance, and responding. So responding to your own words, thoughts, working through the circle of influence that you can control. We can't control the government right now, but you know, we can control things like signing petitions or bringing awareness. Those are things that you can control. All right. These are some thoughts that I have. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope everybody is well during coronavirus. This is not an easy time this video is not meant to say that this is just easy, you know, to manifest your dreams by being abundant or having an abundant mindset. That's not what this is, but it's teaching you or planting some seeds on how to change certain things that are within you or things that you cannot control. All right. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. See you next time. Bye.